Hi there, welcome to DIY Home and Garden. Today I want to show you a really quick, easy little craft that only takes just a couple minutes to make. It is an Epsom salt diffuser for essential oils. I have made these for little quick gifts for people. I've made them for table centerpieces because they're super inexpensive and fun. And it's stuff that you can keep on hand and put together easily. All you need is a quart sized mason jar. I use a wide mouth. A dollar store glass plain votive holder. Use a little bit of goo gone and get the label off so it looks pretty. And then clean it up with some Windex. Two cups of Epsom salt and a tea light candle. And I use Clinjanic essential oils that I order from Amazon typically. And this is a peppermint essential oil. And that's good for my sinuses and allergies. So what I'm going to do first is add my drops of essential oil. Doing about 20 drops here. I'm gonna stir them up. I have a little bamboo skewer from my kitchen here to stir with. That smells really, really good. So what happens is the Epsom salt is going to hold the essential oil and then when you light the little tea light, it gives off an amazing aroma. You don't need to purchase an electric diffuser this way. That smells good. You can make it as strong or as not strong as you like. I did about 20 drops, maybe a little more because that was coming out of there really, really quick. So, all right. So there's my, my jar. I'm gonna take a little dollar store votive holder and just kind of gently wiggle it down in there so it stays put. You can skip this part and just put the tea light directly in. However, I find that the salt gets into the tea light. I just kind of shake it to make sure it's leveled out a little bit. You can use a spoon, a bamboo skewer, whatever you can find to work that in there. And drop your little tea light in. And just like that, you have a diffuser. My allergies are kicking today, so I'm gonna go ahead and light that and give myself some relief. And you can also, if you wish to, and I don't care to do this, you can add food coloring and make the Epsom salt a color of your choice, which is great if you're doing table decorations. Today, I'm just doing this for me. But as you can see, it's a cute little, there we go, put that out and you can see it's a cute little craft idea. So have fun and have a happy DIY day.